now we go back to CSAC. I really should have d done this like after Shorban, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. Yeah. Um, now we're going to talk to tell to Chelik. So that that'll be nice, won't it? It would. Hello. What the hell happened down there, Commander? <laughs> I didn't like him. <laughs> Jack's needed killing. Here's your shipment. Damn it! I've got to get on this right away before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. Jenna first. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. Oz. See yourself out when you're ready. Oh, he's in a right old grump. He is so moody right now. Oh, well, never mind. Not my problem. Yep, now we've got to go and talk to Shaira. And now I can show you that funny thing I I, I, I told you about. It's going to be wow funny. You're going to be like, huh, that is so funny. And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, it is. And heart. What? Maybe. Whoa. Did I, did I give something away there? I think I did. It was a long time ago. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the Asari in here. Hello, Asari lady person. I'll talk to you. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. You're welcome. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. No problem. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Uh huh. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Very. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Hmm. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Hmm. Pain and loss. But it drives you. Makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well. Terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. Damn right. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. And now we pick this one, um, watch. Thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Hey, hey. Hey, And now... We do lesbian sex. <laughs> I actually figured this scene out recently in my last playthrough. I was like, whoa. I did not know about this. So oh, yep, Garrus and Rex are just literally standing in the room and are all like <laughs> Oh my god, they're having lesbian sex, Oh. Here Commander, in light of your efforts <laughs> with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. <laughs> Probably because I, I am imitated Rex and it went so bad. A trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. Oh. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. That is for a side quest? Like... Remember my oh. words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Oh. That is actually for a side quest, but it's so hidden. It's more like a secret, really. But it's so hidden. You have to really go out and look for it. Otherwise, uh, we, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Chances are you won't notice what she gave you or what it does anyway. So, now we need to go to the Citadel Tower. Because we've done everything here. I would have just gone straight to the tower, but I thought, you know what? Let's just get these over and done with. And hopefully that'll just be... Oh no, we will do other side quests, like important ones. Like one, especially involving him. Since it... Well, I won't, I won't spoil, it, spoil anything. <laughs> Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. 
Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Geth revere them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. There is trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Can't you understand? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No! It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up.
bastard didn't even thank you. It's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Yeah, yeah. And another level up. Let's go and level, level shit up. Wow, I've got two level ups. <laughs> holy, holy shit, that's kind of silly. Um. Hmm. Okay, that gives me basically everything, so I get two in that. One in that. And I think I'll put one in throw. Oh, you got two as well. Give you some tactical armor there, my buddy. Go. And you will put more. Hmm. Warp will be very useful, though. Uh, Krogan Battle Master. And assault rifles. There we go. Give them a little bit more damage and all that. That'll, that'll help a lot. But that, that is going to be fun, isn't it? Right. We do need to go down to CSAC. So let, let, let's go and do that now. CSAC. Citadel security. Do 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 do. Boo. Boobies. What? I don't know. They're great. <laughs> Hello. One sec. Looking you up. Hi. You done yet? Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Sure is. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? I believe so. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Any a nice guy? Isn't he a sweetie pie? Isn't he a darling? Just a bit. Right, we do want a comparison, love. Edge 3, ooh, yeah. But that will, like, <laughs> that will take up all of our credits. Um, yeah, it seems okay. Well, Biota Camp. It's, it's not a huge upgrade, though, is it? Get them, get them. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll... Use it on an Omni tool, why not? I'm gonna nick it. Oh no, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Here we go. A little bit of cooldown, that'll, be, that'll go a long way for us. Actually, we should check out our stuff. Yeah. Um, nah. Just sell, sell off the things we Hello, aren't Commander. using. Hi. Sell. Yep. Yep, yep. There we go. Cleared out our inventory so then we can make room for more. In the future. And then sell it off. Buy low, sell high. In other news, oh, Exogeny hi. Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the I'm Hades Gamma Cluster. I'm not going to do that. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company Us. officials refused to comment. Ass. T tail. Yeah, it's got like a little tail. Look at it. It's so cute. That's one thing you can say about Krogan. They're kind of adorable in some weird way. Talk to me. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. What's going on here? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is... I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. 
Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me there, buddy. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Um... I think I'll start with Pharos. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Might be necessary. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Hi, dude. Yes, Commander? Okay. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Believe me, you're going to have plenty more of a role later down the line. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Bastard blamed you, what? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. That's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Wasn't your fault, buddy. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I oh, don't. Right. <laughs> Maybe he just likes the violence. <laughs> just... Maybe he's the only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. 
Uh, tell me about Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Artemis Tau. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. <laughs> okay. I can do that. What can that. you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Well now. See you, see you later, Mr. Anderson. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. So, yep. Yeah. That will do for the first session of Mass Effect. Bloody hell, I've been playing for ages. And, well, it's just been... It's really late right now. I've been playing way longer than I should have been. <laughs> but um, I hope you're enjoying so far. There's probably a little too much talking, so I might need to cut down on the investigation dialogue options. But hopefully that, that shouldn't be a thing. But I've got to say, it's going to be... It's going to be tricky finding titles for each episode since it's going to be a a fairly lengthy playthrough but not 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 too long. It won't it won't take ages. <laughs> that much I can tell you. But I hope you're enjoying it. And I'm going to get to bed now, so bye.